So, September, start of school. What a great time to be spending 12 hours a day stuck on your smartphone. Well, after this video, you might just be doing that because this is my best Android games of September 2016. Without further ado, let's get started. So the first game is the rather unfortunately named Pig Bang, and whatever it might sound like, this is actually a beautifully made top-down shooter, which has some incredible mechanics and rivals the best on the platform. When you start a match, your team will be pitched against another team, and both will be losing water very quickly, and what you have to do is to try and capture the water tanks to keep your level up, and the first team to run out is the loser. And what's great about the game is it not only has great shooter mechanics, but it's also introduced tower defence into it for that added layer of strategy. You're not only defending against the other team, but also against a set of rogue enemies called the Wolves, which are released on both players. On top of that, there are an insane amount of power-ups to get, and the attributes of your weapons are randomly generated, so there's just an insane amount of depth here. Now the next one, I'm not too sure how to say this, I'll go for Sea Bay is a simple game. In fact, it's a really simple game, and that's one of its main strengths. The goal in Sea Bay is to keep your motorbike upright while you traverse terrains of increasing difficulty. And yes, that's been done before, but it's never looked this good. Seriously guys, this is minimalism at its finest. This is what a whole horde of games try to achieve. You can look around just by tilting the phone, and this creates a really authentic feel to it. The bike can break in different parts that genuinely feels natural and enhances the gaming experience. Numero 3, we've got Deus EX, one of the most sophisticated strategy games ever to release on the market. From level 2, you'll be scratching your head, wondering what the hell is going on and why you're dying in 10 seconds. Essentially, it is a nail-bitingly difficult turn-based strategy game set in the Deus EX universe. The graphics are awesome, and the mechanics simple but solid. If you thought the first few levels were hard, about a couple of hours in, you'll be looking at levels like this and wondering what the hell your life has come to. Next up we have Lost Maze, which basically hinges on one simple mechanic. Your character always moves forward, but will turn clockwise at any location it's stopped in. There's a whole series of levels in various different locations, and the design of this game is one of the most impressive I've ever seen. It's not necessarily the most graphically demanding, but the charm is unreal. Now although the game looks like it might be designed for 5 year olds, it also has a skull crushing difficulty, which makes actually completing levels, even from an early stage, just really really rewarding. So next up we have Riptide GP Renegade. Now the Riptide games have had a bit of a history on Android devices, and they were originally released just to showcase off Nvidia's new Tegra processors, so that gives you an idea of how the game looks. And in one word, it is good. There's a detailed world that blurs past you as you speed across the water. The water effects themselves are really quite impressive, some of the best you can get on Android, and everything runs along at a smooth clip. But now with this game, it's much more than just a boat racing graphics showcase, they've developed a whole game around it. We've got a career mode, we've got character progression, unlockables, as well as development of your vehicle. The next game is Hitman Sniper, which essentially takes the best bit from Hitman, the sniping, and whacks it on your mobile phone so you can play it anywhere. And I have to say when I opened the app, I was stunned by the graphics, the game looks really really good. Unfortunately, on the downside, that does mean even the highest end devices struggle with it, and it doesn't help that the optimization is not exactly the best out there. Having said that, this could just be the most developed sniping experience you can get on the go. You have to think about diversions, you have to think about who saw the attack, so you've even got to think about how to distract other people around the subject you're trying to go for. And I tell you, very few things come close to the level of satisfaction you get when you score a slow motion headshot from 5,000 meters away. There's not a huge amount of customization, but there is also an armory where you can upgrade your weapon and make it stronger. So game number 7 is Super Stickman Golf number 3, and I've pretty much been a loyal fan of this series since the day after the first game came out. Even though they look so simple and they're only in 2D, I'd say these are the best golfing games you can get on Android, and I'm happy to say that the third game takes what number 2 did and makes it even better. Now, there's a huge amount of courses, each organised into different tours, but this time you can even get card packs. The cards actually contain inside, they'll give you things like costumes, things like helmets to wear, and all of these make meaningful contributions to how you play on the field. You can unlock different powers for your ball, like it might stick to any surface, or a hat that might, for example, shoot your shots further. Now, the game can get really, really challenging, which is good, and whenever you can shoot yourself a shot like this, it makes your day. Game number 8 is Mars Mars, and this isn't quite as detailed or thorough as the other games, there's no career mode as such, but it's a great time waster. 
In fact, this is one of the hardest games I'd say I've ever played on Android. As you can see, failure is something that you kind of grow used to. There are characters to unlock, but you are essentially doing the same thing with each one, just in a slightly different setting. You've got to launch from one pad and try and land yourself safely on the next one, and it's much harder than it sounds. So the next one is flip diving, and I'm a little bit late to the table on this one, but it's still a hell of a lot of fun, and if you haven't tried it, worth a spin. Quite literally. The game is to safely land in the water without belly flopping, back flopping, and performing just the right amount of flips, depending on the level you're on, and also the cliff gets higher and higher. So if that doesn't already sound hard, just look how your character behaves. It uses ragdoll physics, and honestly, it's almost like a comedy show watching it happen. Also, you can constantly unlock new levels, new moves, as well as new characters, which keeps things refreshing. So the last game on the list, and this is not usually my type of game, is Magic Rampage. It's a dungeon crawler, and it's really, really hard. You will die. You will die a lot. You will probably die three times within a minute. But that's what makes the game really fun. It's got short, sharp levels, they're to the point, which is great for mobile gaming. Oh, did I say you'd die? You're constantly picking up new weapons, and there's also a shop to buy some pretty powerful ones if I must say so myself, but the grind to actually get them is unreal. There's a pretty beefy set of achievements, and more dungeons on the game than you'll ever be able to explore. So guys, that's it for me for now, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to whack that subscribe button, and I will keep you up to date with the latest tech content. I'm Mr Who's the Boss, and I'm signing out.